for the kickoff. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? NYKIA 31 here. Madden 13 OS Vets Online Franchise Season 1. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Heading down the home stretch of the season, a check into this game at 10 and 2. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Playoff seedings, playoff spots, all that good stuff are starting to come into play. I don't know why I throw this pass. I tried to see if I could lead him up the field more and put more touch on it, but it was not meant to be bad decision but anyhow as you see Blaine Gabbert a lot of yards a lot of touchdowns a lot of picks him and Justin Blackman have been quite the combination you also still have Maurice Jones Drew Jacksonville is always a scrappy team to play Mabin when Aaron Mabin is flying around and active He's a big, big headache, but anyhow. The offense heading down the home stretch of the season. I currently stand at number three in the AFC behind both the uh, Tennessee Titans and the Cincinnati Bengals, who are both 11-1. and one. If I can win this game, get to 11-2, and two, that sets up a big game. Coming against up, the down. Titans that ball was going the other next way. week which would in, in essence be for one of the top two seats in a first round bye disrespect being shown to the great Revis rent must be paid in order to maintain your residency on Revis Island but I'm looking forward to taking care of business here and setting up that game against the Titans where I can hopefully get a first round bye. As things have been going very well with, with the Jets. Jets are uh, one of the top defensive teams in the league this year. I believe I'm either second or third in fewest points given up. The offense has been a bit of a patchwork. I've been without Anquan Bolden for the past seven weeks. I get him back next week. And without Bolden, that puts a lot of pressure on Holmes and Keller as far as he can produce in the passing game. As I'm basically um, in the mode I was before I acquired Bolden. Holmes, Keller, and a bunch of trash. But Sanchez's QB rating is up to um, 90. And he's been playing pretty efficiently, if not spectacular, in this West Coast O. And D has been doing its job in the Tampa 2 very nicely. Another pick six here, Kyle Wilson. Spending those experience points earned for Kyle Wilson on awareness and play recognition. Felt like I was in pretty good control. Mike Thomas with a big kick return there. Set up a good field position for the Jags. Muhammad Wilkerson with the bull, but Kamari gets beat. I absolutely love the way my front force played this season. Mabin doing work in the sack department. On that speed edge rush there. Pua being a solid anchor at defensive tackle. Wilkerson is tough to move. The rookie, Quentin Copel's playing well. Didn't want to risk that tight throw there because Sanchez's accuracy downfield makes me nervous. But he hits that one there to Holmes. The defense comes out in the nickel. During the um, season, you can scout draft classes or the draft class. I've been scouting wide receivers like crazy. I do need an upgrade there that's somewhat young, but also has enough upside to develop. And here, I probably should have just stayed on the guy I was controlling. I wanted to hopefully click to a guy on the left-hand side, but I couldn't, and that happens. And now Jacksonville is right back in the game as Mike Thomas returns that punt for a TD. 
which puts the pressure right back on my offense as I get a little bit lucky here with a position pass inside to Keller. And I'm going to do a breakdown of this playbook sometime soon. I just haven't gotten to it. But I'm just trying to reestablish some momentum and offensive rhythm as the Jags have gotten right back into the game. Taken out of bounds. And that's a rare sight. They face first what if my down. slot receiver's doing anything? Tosses it to the outside. And McKnight switching that ball hand to avoid those fumbles getting it done. And, and playing McKnight in war, getting him out in space to use that athleticism. And Sean Green been playing well. I mean, he doesn't get a ton of carries seeing how uh, my offense is geared toward the short passing game. But he's doing pretty well. He's got about seven or eight touchdowns, decent yard per carry average. You know, he's never he's never going to get you know 20 plus carries a game with the way I play. With the carries he gets, he does a solid job. This is the Sanchez danger area, and I cannot wait until I get Bolden back as Malcolm Jenkins boots the ball, sniff that screen out. Can't quite get there in time. Jags trying to get back on the board before halftime. Looking across the middle. Accidentally hot rotted my defensive tackle to a deep zone. I was hopefully able to set him back on time. After the long game, I'm trying to spring a trap here. here. Quinton Copel dropping back into a purple zone. Now to his left. And Revis almost gets That's pick number two. Time by the, secondary. the defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. There. No Someone gets him. lost, but a price is paid. On this drive. Quarterback drops back. Touchdown, and they get one. 99 down. times out of 100, There's Revis no will make a play on that ball. Score. He just had his back to it. I like how he tried to put his hands up to kind of, you know, face guard the dude. But what can you do? Breaks McKnight free. showing what he can do. To work with. This is a big time return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about... Really like Joe McKnight. Ready to take advantage I'm actually halfway tempted to make him my starting back next season since Sean Green is in his walk season. And McKnight is still pretty cheap. If I can build um, McKnight up with manual progression, I think he can do some pretty good things for me as a starter. I just, you know, worry about him fumbling. That Jeremiah Bell continues his all-pro season. To the line. Here's a it's classic a case of route mirroring. I probably should have gone to the check down route there. I hate when I miss my check downs, but, you know, I know the route. I know the play. I know the timing. The route was just mirrored. I mean, nothing, what, what could I do there? I thought I made the right read, but, you know, that's one of those cases where, I mean, I don't know if he assigned inside shade to Holmes or not. First but to the, the guy just ran the route ahead of my guy. Maybe three. Well, a short gain on the and I explained before, that's my seven. biggest pet peeve about man coverage, that tendency to replicate good man coverage right with route mirroring. There's and there Mike Thomas the thinks he can just Rainers go over the middle like it's sweet. We got Black Bart up in there, knocking people's heads off. Set up screen. Good they job by him of obstructing my screen. That ugly, good. ugly play. Second and short. It's a tie ball, ball game. Run. Play fake here. Pua just misses. Right. Just a little bit late and with him. He's knocked out of bounds. Well, if you want to be a good play action pass, he's set up by the long gainer. Blaine we'll Gabbard has been developing pretty nicely. And that tackle made by Going back to work with Maurice Landry. Jones Drew Reading now. Something out. Third down and four. Going across Not the an easy squad to run against. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to four. He's trying to make him pay for um, every bit of real estate he tries to earn. I mean, I'm in punt block safe, man, and it still works. To watch, isn't it, to see a team that has fix coming up on this drive. First and ten. He's going to try to get aggressive right away. Good call by him nice after that play. Getting that extra yard will be the eighth play of this drive. I was in the right call. It just, you know, didn't work out for me. And there's Quinton Copels. If Copels didn't get him, I was going to get him. As I beat the lineman there, the good old, you know, bull rush move with uh, Muhammad Wilkerson. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, when you have legs like... 
a miserable place to start this so next once drive. again First pressure down, back 10. on the O and Sanchez and, and I get crunched the, the name of the game is hit the guy with did a good job being aggressive on first down and trying to get me into a um, Maurice Jones -Drew gets negative yardage situation. And here I get bailed out by a holding penalty, thankfully. Holding offense. As that was Maurice Jones Drew, best friend of the game. Right back to Until this one. one. Time. My block shed the wrong back way. Down at the 46 yard line. Well, the defense up here. First and ten. Here's the quick talk. And again the here. He's so Jones is starting to percolate a little bit. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up the second. Quentin Copels. I like to mix in that um, purple zone with either a blitzing OLB or an athletic defensive lineman to kind of obstruct the curl and the out route to the wide side. And that time it paid off. He is tackled. All reliable. Mr. Keller. Gets it again here. And it's Paul Puzlesny who makes the hit. Another first down by the offense. Trying to capture the lead, this sucker. Did I mention that I can't wait until I get Anquan Bolden back? Malcolm Jenkins drops his second key pass of the game. And converts on the three. Wonderful kick that time by the kicker. He's they come to the had to settle for three. Should have had a touchdown. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones Drew. They've got him. Third down following Big the third down here. Takes the stab from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Ryan Steed shows his rookie turn. lack of awareness. Good job by the quarterback. Working that left side. Couple just a little bit late. So a couple of um, big completions in a row for Mr. Gabbert. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Game Time 13. to stop bending now. First downs at the general rule of thumb is that you can bend Jones until they get here. inside your red zone, then you got to stop bending. 12. And that's Another the downside of you know taking a calculated gamble and um, hot routing that defensive end to a purple zone. I don't know how my guys don't get this. Someone's but back to what, back to that last play. You know the downside of you know taking that calculated risk and. Dropping a defensive end into a purple zone. If they run a draw to that side, that DE is, you know, not there. And a hole, the size you can drive a truck through opens up. So now I need a clutch Sanchez moment in order to pull this W out or to force overtime. Sanchez or franchise is a drive. What are we going to see? The D line saw something on the offense. Everybody shifting to their left. Malcolm Jenkins and finally makes a play. The sideline. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really Inside lead on this sucker at right that break that point. Good for a first down. That's, a nice That's the key to beating man there. coverage. You got to throw um, three more before he hits that break point or right at it and pass lead it away from the defender. Here's the first snap after the big play. Will run it. Here's Trusting Randolph. McKnight not to fumble the Here rock. After that catch for a first down. He'll fire it out to the Go to my clutch down. receiver and the clutch kicks in. Santonio. San they come out in the dime pack. Now we just got a hold. First and ten. Looking across the middle, squeezes it into Boom. coverage. They immediately I'd call like to see Jeremiah Bell on the other side Second close that down. Following that incompletion. So now he's got a puncher's chance. It out. And the throw, it's in. One more play. Looking at every option. Not a wise and we hold on. There it is. Jets hit 11 and 2. We get Anquan end. Bolden back. Big Lock game Lock next Lock week Lock. versus the 11 and 1 Titans. So for Bill Sims and all the crew Getting down to the nitty gritty. So Hope you guys now. enjoy. Talk to you all later. Peace.